Hey guys, what's going on? Joe here from Stampede Gaming. Welcome to an episode of Game Breakers, and today it's going to be a tutorial for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES. Now, uh, this is a game that I've played a shit ton of. Um, actually, uh, when I first got my NES, uh, other than uh, the Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt uh, combo cartridge that came with it, this is the first game that I actually had after that. So, you know, that's one fucking hell of a game to start with, okay? And it was a really, really difficult game. And I always, uh, I know I covered this game actually in uh, some of my previous episodes of Game Breakers, but only like a couple, a couple of things. I feel like there's a lot more I want to talk about, so that's why I felt like, you know what, I'm just going to do an entire tutorial on this game and, uh, you know, try to um, explain a lot of things that, uh, you know, weren't really explained a lot in the game. I know some people would think like, oh, well, uh, you know, some turtles are stronger than other turtles, uh, you know, and for the most part, they're right. I mean, Donatello is the strongest turtle in the game. Uh, uh, he always get the, uh, deals with the most uh, power, sorry, most damage, and he um, has the longest range weapon, right? But there are the other turtles, they have their advantages and disadvantages, and that's really what I want to uh, talk about. And, uh, you know, basically a lot of things in this game that are really cryptic and make this game a lot harder than it is. But I'm going to try to go through this and, uh, you know, show you guys as much as I know and, you know, Everything that I show you guys, I really hope that it'll help you guys out if you guys want to actually, you know, just beat this game or if you want to do more of a challenge of trying to get through without using any power-ups, any, uh, you know, scrolls or anything. Or even if you want to try to do a, you know, a Raphael-only uh, challenge, you know, like uh, if you want to Swayze it up, like uh, like I did recently in one of my videos, I did uh, the Red Swayze challenge, I completed it. That was uh, Raphael-only, uh, no power-ups, and I did it with, uh, with no death, too. That was a nice little uh, cherry on top. To get that no death. All right, guys. So uh, let's get started here. Okay. So the first thing they tell you, uh, well, not uh, they, but you know, uh, people on YouTube, they'll, they'll say like uh, expert gamers on YouTube. They'll be like uh, the precise second of when you hit start on the start screen. Uh, well basically spawn a technodrome where you want it to spawn. So for those who don't know, in level five, area five, you gotta find a technodrome, there's three sewer manholes and it could be in any one of those sewer manholes. They say that, oh, okay, well, you know, a, a specific note, you can press start and you can spawn it right where you wanna spawn it. I'm, I can't even tell you where it is, guys, okay? Like that's just, for, to me it could be all bullshit, I don't know, right? Maybe it is true or not, but, I really don't know, so I'm just gonna press start, and wherever it is, it is. So that's it. Okay, so that's your turtle. You can switch out to any turtle you want. Let's go with Raph, I guess. Raph is pretty strong in this game. Timmy we think he's the weakest, but I like him. You can skip this whole first area of the sewer and just go straight to this one. Alright, so first uh, sub boss area is Bebop. Here's an easy way to beat him. When he comes toward you, attack and just retreat and he'll just jump. And he'll retreat again. Easiest way to beat him. Don't even take any damage against him. Oh! Okay, lie, you take a little bit of damage against them. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna skip that building, that building's to that end. Skip this uh, sewer here. This right here is your next area, you wanna go to this sewer right here. And look, pizza. So, for those who don't know, you can actually farm the pizza, just, oops, grab it, and go in and out, and you can get as much pizza as you want. Done. All right, so another thing I want to talk about, that flying enemy there, that's just hovering uh, up and down. Uh, there are certain enemies in this game that are, are that are uh, uh, flying enemies where you can actually manipulate them to where they go, okay? So check this out, if I go over here, okay, he came towards me that way. Go back in.
and it's coming toward me this way, see? You can manipulate them. And you know what, it, it, it's not just for this game, there's, I know there's a lot of games like, uh, I think Mega Man you could do the same thing, but you gotta be able to, uh, with these enemies here, you gotta be able to manipulate, manipulate the, them to move where you want them to move. So right now, I want them to go directly up, so watch this, I'm just gonna jump this way, boom, now he's out of my way. So, I know it might not seem like much now, but that will come in handy later on. Especially with the, with the flying spaceship guys, uh, spacemen guys, whatever. And for those who are experts in this game, who uh, know what I'm talking about, yeah, you can manipulate them by, by doing what I just did. Alright, so these guys here are sub-bosses. You know, the, the screen won't scroll until you actually kill them. Oops. This guy here isn't too bad. I kind of fucked it up a little bit. It kind of reminds me of like those uh, ghosts in Mario where you only uh, they only come come alive when uh, your back's to them. Okay, so this is the final building of Area One. I'm show you guys a little trick here. All right, so if you guys are familiar with the screen over here, you know that uh, after I get past this conveyor belt, there's gonna be like an enemy there. And then after that, uh, there's gonna be uh, like the two, uh, I call them Rat King enemies, because they look like the Rat King. There's ways to like, again, like I said, you can manipulate the, well much like you can, how you can manipulate the enemies, you can, you can also manipulate them as you're going by keeping certain enemies on the screen you're gonna neg negate them from showing up. So watch, I think it's a probably a limitation to uh, the amount of enemies, enemies the NES can have on the screen. So watch, when these get, when these uh, flying enemies go, I'm gonna follow them so they stay on screen. And you'll see, and you'll see that, I'm not, that all these enemies are, are, are gonna be there. Oh, well, I kinda fucked that up there, but if I went further, you know, I'll, you know, I'll go back and I'll show you guys. Kind of screwed up, screwed that up again. All right. Ah, I was trying to jump. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes! <laughs> Those conveyors are slowing me down. Oh, okay, that's what you gotta do. You gotta do it this way. That's right. Remember now. You don't follow them. You wait for them to go through. There you go. And now look. No racking guys, see? And everyone's gone. Simple. Now these racking guys, they're simple, especially when they fall through like that. I'll, I'll explain later how, how simple they are. Uh, probably in uh, stage three. All right, so we're approaching uh, Rocksteady here. So Rocksteady, uh, for those who don't know, you can do this, uh, this cheat with Don. It's like the most famous thing ever. That wasn't it, but that's uh, somewhat similar. You can stay here. And just hit, kill him like that. But he's not that hard though. That's uh, that's done. Don is the uh, strongest guy in the game. In a nutshell, you want to keep Don alive. Alright, so now we get to uh, stage 2, which is uh, the damn level. Right, let's take out Raph here. The foot soldiers' patterns aren't uh, aren't that hard. It's basically well, he's not here anymore.
There he is, okay. Oops, attack him. Well, I fucked that up. Basically, you attack him, and then he jumps over you, and then you attack him again. I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll, I'll run into more foot soldiers along the way. So let's get here, again, not that bad. There you go, simple. Again, manipulate this guy. That's it. Those uh, flying enemies over there, you can't really manipulate them. They have like a set pattern. But there are some flying enemies that you can manipulate. Okay, here, manipulate him. Simple. Let this guy come to you. Manipulate him, jump over him. Manipulate him, jump over him. Okay, so... Let me kill this guy. Alright. If I go all the way to the right here, there's gonna be a full pizza there, but I'm gonna trigger uh, an enemy there. I really don't need it, because I'm at full health with Raph, and on top of that, I got full health with everybody, so it doesn't really matter. But I guess just to show you what it, what it, is, what it looks like, it's basically uh, just like that. But I didn't really need the pizza. I'll grab it anyway now. Okay. We're getting up to a, to a difficult jump here. Okay, so there's an enemy. What I teach you guys? Manipulate him upwards. That way he doesn't come toward you. It's a small, a small uh, hallway here. There you go. This one's a little tougher. He's right there. He's a little tougher. There you go. Otherwise he comes straight and then you have to go backtrack and then he'll respawn. This game has a lot of Ninja Gaiden respawning bullshit. Alright, so let's make, it, make this jump here. You have to walk and at the very edge, make that jump. Baby jump. <sighs> That's something else I want to talk about in this game. I'll do it in the stage, I'll do it in the next stage. Alright, so... The stage here, not so, not so bad. There's eight bombs you have to uh, disarm in about two minutes, 20 seconds. Now there's an easy mode and a hard mode to this, uh, which I don't really know how to get which one. For the most part, it is linear. Like, you don't have to go out of the way really to get these bombs. But the easy mode and the hard mode basically uh, uh, depends on if there's a current or not. And you'll see right when you get to these lasers over here, you can feel if there's a current pushing against you or not. And there is, so I got the hard mode. How you trigger the easier the hard, I don't know. It could be the same thing with triggering the... Uh, uh, the technodrome at the beginning of the, of the start screen. It could be just like that. But it's a lot harder obviously, with the current because it's be you're being pulled one way. So for this part right here, it's going to be easy to get through this part because the current's for me. But coming out, it's going to be hard. I have to take at least one hit coming out. There you go. And that makes this next part here, the famous uh, the famous one with the, with the seaweed, it's going to make it a lot harder. Because now I'm, it's going to be pulling me one way. That's not bad. So after you get that past the seaweed, Oh, and by the way, if you want, you can switch turtles. I know I'm not doing that, but yeah. After you get by the seaweed, if you're doing you're trying to take a one turtle run, as long as you have like, let's say, two or three bars of health, you should be fine. That part there is a little tricky. The one I just got by. 
And if you don't worry about the time limit, like as long as you follow the path the way uh, it's supposed to be, you should be you should be getting all of them. And if you get to hear it with like about 50, I got 40 seconds. Now if you get to hear it with that much time, you're good. Cause I, I always clear this with like 20 seconds left anyway. I always skip that laser cause sometimes I get stuck there. I go through this way. Find it easier for me. Oops. All right. Watch out for that seaweed at the bottom, that's an insta-kill. Oh. That was sloppy of me. Yeah, uh, no matter what, easy or hard, there's always a current here. And I took a hit, whatever, it's all good. So that's the damn stage, it's not that hard. You see, I, I hardly took any damage there. It's all about basically knowing where the bombs are and you know getting to them the uh, fastest route you can, right? Like I was even slowing down, explaining stuff, and I still had time left over, right? So it shouldn't be that hard. All right. So, sorry guys, I got like a checklist here of stuff I wanna want to go over. So I got that one. First thing to do, look at your map here, okay? The, uh, the white spots indicate uh, you know, like, like the buildings and the entrances you can go to. Just to let you know that most of this is bullshit, okay? Like the only one you really need is the top uh, top left there from where I am. I, I'm the I'm, I'm the I'm the the cross there, the the plus sign. That's me. But the top left square, that's where I gotta go to get the, the rockets. Uh, the bottom left is gonna be the uh, uh, the scrolls if you want them. And yeah, I, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll check them out. Uh, the bottom uh, bottom center is gonna be um, uh, the turtle if you lose them, and I'll probably just show you that too. The top right is bullshit, and uh, the bottom right is bullshit. You don't need that. And then you have the, the ones in the middle, the two of them right, deadly in the middle, like dead like center in the middle. You have to go all the way around to get those. That's where you basically you want to go to. Everything else, like, like the top right and bottom right, they're bullshit. You don't have to go through them. You probably get like maybe grappling hooks, but they're unnecessary in this level. There's just one maze that you really need to do. If you all you really need to do, like uh, theoretically, is just go into the first building to get the rockets and go straight to the end. That's really all you need to do. But I'm going to show you some extra stuff because there are some extra things that can help you in this game, right? So we'll do that right now. So I didn't go in the turtle van there because I didn't want to spawn uh, the, the foot roller, I guess it's called. So one thing I want to tell you guys is that when you go into these buildings, you can actually manipulate uh, the enemies that are in there. Or sorry, not manipulate them. You can like uh, spawn uh, a set of enemies. Uh, there's a certain set of enemies. There'll be like, uh, for example, like a foot soldier set and a rat king set and uh, I don't know, uh, a, a, a human torch set. I call the guy the human torch, a human torch set or a set with uh, those big robot guys, right? Where their heads fly off. You can actually spawn, not spawn which ones you want, but if you don't like the set of enemies you have in there, you can try to come out of the, uh, of the building and go back in and you have a different set of enemies. So let's enter with Dawn. So you have these guys, you go out, and go back in, and look, they changed. There you go. Now, one thing I want to do here is I want to talk about uh, the overhead swipe, which is basically that. You just saw Don kicking ass with that. I want to show you guys with all four turtles, because I feel it's important, because this gets back to people say that... Uh, I hear people saying that, oh, you know, it's all about the turtles, you know, the power that they give out. It's all about the range. The range does matter, obviously, you can see there, right? Because Donatello can actually go through, uh, he can defy physics and, and go through, uh, through walls. Even, uh, Leo can do the same thing. He, 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 he can poke through. But, uh, let's go here with Don. 
And I want to show you this one enemy coming at me right now. Bang, hit. Okay. Bear with me, guys. So that was done. Let's go to Leo. Killed. 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 Same enemy. Okay. Wrath. Same enemy. Alright. Mikey. Same enemy. You can't hit him. Mike cannot hit him. Okay? So it's a good thing to know that when it comes to overhead swipes, Mike is the worst at that because his range is no good. And that comes in that that, that knowledge comes in handy when you're facing a technodrome because there are turrets on top of the technodrome that are hard to hit with Michelangelo. You can hit him with anybody else, but not Michelangelo. So Michelangelo, doing a Michelangelo only run would probably give you a lot of trouble at the technodrome, trying to get into the technodrome, at the end of level five, trying to get into the technodrome. So now that we got that out of the way, let's uh, let's go in and uh, we'll get uh, some pizza here and rockets. Ooh. See what I did there? I didn't even attack that uh, the Human Torch guy. I let him uh, walk off screen. You should be doing that a lot in this game. Don't even attack him if you don't have to. Alright, so watch this now. There's going to be a Human Torch at the end where uh, on top of the same level as me. If I do it right, I can actually glitch him out where he falls to the bottom. So watch. Look at that. And I avoid him now. So see what I did? I moved the screen over a little bit, just so that I can get off screen. Okay, so something I haven't talked about. First things first. Uh... I, I, I want to talk about this in level 1, but I forgot, but I'll do it now, it's not a big deal. There are actually three types of jumps in this game, okay? There's the baby jump, which you, all you do is tap. Which is going to come crucial when you're in uh, the sewer part of the, of the game, coming up uh, later in this level. There's a hard jump, which is that, and you can tell because he'll be rolling in a hard jump. That, you just hold down the A button. So, tap, hold down the A button. There's actually a middle jump, and this plays a crucial part in the game as well, like, it, it comes in handy. You basically have to like hold for a split second and release. There you go. That's your middle jump. Right there. So you have baby, middle, and hard. Okay. So this scene right here is the infamous uh, walkover scene from uh, AVGN. Uh, you can actually get through here uh, just by doing a jump here. You want to basically do a hard jump, just like that. You want to basically clip that, uh... I'm not even doing anything special, I'm, I'm just lining myself up here, that's all I'm doing. See, that's like, not... That's too far, uh, in, so you want to... Re just reposition it, again, too far in. That's good right there. As you get to your peak, that's when you hold left. There you go. And you can do that with any turtle. Any turtle. Get the rockets, now. Uh, the set of rockets you got are 10. 10 is enough to get through the entire uh, maze just to get where, you're, where you want to go. If you want to explore, you need more. But other than that, 10 is fine. All you really need is 7 to get from point A to point B and 8 if you want to get uh, your spare turtle, if you ever lose a turtle. Which reminds me, probably should do that. So I got an idea here. Uh, we'll give this to Mike, I guess. And yeah, it's fine. And we will lose Raph purposely. There we go. Okay, so we got the rockets, we got everything we need here. So uh, we're gonna move on to the next part here and that's gonna be 
for some reason the, tech, uh, the, tech drill, the turtle van was right beside me, I don't know why, but... We're gonna move on here. That's one. Like I always hit you, I don't know why. Okay, so this is the building where you want to get scrolls. You always want to enter from the left side. Scrolls are the most uh, powerful sub weapon in this game, by the way. Pop over these guys. Try to manipulate this guy here. There you go, off screen. Simple, I don't, I don't even have to fight that guy. Here you have to fight a guy. I'll use Don, because Don's the most powerful. Come down here, sewer, there's pizza if you need. I'm already at full I'm already at full health. That was a uh, Spider-Man. No, I don't need this pizza, but I'm, I'm just coming here because it's easier to kill this guy. Oh, there you go, there's some weapons, which I can't get. Unless... Ah, not fast enough. No worries. These are, um... Uh, grappling hooks. They are necessary, I don't need them right now. I will need them later on. But not now. Okay, so you come up here and look. Scrolls. Uh, I guess we'll give them to... I don't know, Mike? Or Don? I'm going to Don. Ah, it's going to Mike. Just in case. So these are... The most powerful weapon in the game. They deal a lot of damage. Oh, for fuck's sakes. So you can actually go in. This is what you're supposed to do, I think. This is how I, I beat the game the first time. You basically go in and out and you just farm those, the hell out of those scrolls. So just wait for this guy to uh, go off screen. There you go. Simple. Don't do any fighting at all. This guy you have to fight, but look. Get the scroll out. Pow. Done. One hit. So powerful. Here you get your pizza. I could have waited for that guy to, to go off screen, but I didn't want to wait. Baby jump to get in here. Grab pizza. Baby jump out. Hard jump to get over. I'm not going to grab more because I don't need any. And there you go, more scrolls. So that's what you're supposed to do. I'm not going to stay here and farm because I don't think I need them right now. Alright, to get out of here, just go in the water and it takes you out of the building. So that's what you do if you want to get scrolls. So we're going to continue on here. Uh, I'll show you guys where... If you ever lose a turtle, which we did, I'll show you guys where to find them. That's a nice shot. It's a good shot. What do you want from me? It's a good shot. Come in here on the right side of this building and you'll find... Look, it's Raph. Yeah, a little two Raph. Yeah, you know, from part two. So, we got Raph back. Don needs pizza. I'll show you guys something here. This is another infamous part from uh, AVGN. Where he sees the pizza here. They, how the hell are you supposed to get that pizza? He's trying to do like a, like a medium jump to get in. Whatever. You, you're supposed to do a medium jump to get in, but this is how you do it. You basically line up here. Same way how you would do that uh, thing. Um, the... The... the the walk over and jump where you uh, jump uh, on that height thing on that platform that was like was like so high. You basically want to clip in like that, and then as you're doing the medium jump, just hold right, and that's how you do it. Simple. 
This is also a good spot too if you want to get pizza if you're ever low. Other than that though, there's really no reason to be in this building. Okay, we can exit now. We can uh, make our way to uh, the end of the level here. I know. There we go. All right, so here's a good trick to uh, to kill the enemies plus the barrier at the end. Once you hit the, uh, the not the, this blue part, this blue building here, but the one right above it. Once you get to there, start firing a rocket. Just one, right there. Killed and barrier is destroyed. Simple. I think there's one more barrier I gotta kill or blow up. I think it's this one. Yep. And we still have one remaining. Look at that. It's just, it's just, it, sorry, that guy's causing you trouble. Just glitch him off like I did. Alright. This part here. I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this guy to, uh, to walk off instead of fighting him there you go done done that's it now before I go I just want to see if I talked about everything that I want to talk about uh, yeah yeah uh, coming up Yeah, okay. I'm pretty much uh, I'm caught up here with what I want to talk about here. Those, uh, the flames, uh, they're pretty annoying because they can go through walls. Whatever. Okay, so this is what you want to do for this part here. Uh, this jump here has been really like... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, for me, it's a famous jump because this is a jump that uh, gave me so much trouble as a kid. I must have got through here maybe a handful of times. I thought about maybe like 10. And after that, I died and I'd fall in the water after we redo the whole thing over again. It was so annoying, this jump right here. And I'm really glad that uh, ABGN, he talked about this jump and he said he had to pay respect to this jump because this is the one that caused him the most trouble. I mean,. You, this is where you have to really have to learn. Okay, there's three jumps in this game. There's a, there's a baby jump, there's the medium jump, and then there's the hard jump, okay? And as a kid, it was hard to just, you know, decipher that, right? Uh, one tip I want to tell you guys though, when you come down here, don't go all the way to the end here and then make the jump, because what's gonna happen is, you make that jump, look, you're spawning guys to show up, right? What you want to do is, as you come down, well, first thing first, manipulate uh, that flame to like kill itself. Come down and just stay right there. Don't go too far to the left because otherwise you're gonna spawn a guy. And what you want to do here is baby jump. You know, and it was just hard for me to do that as a kid. So a lot of people like to do they want to they want to trickle the screen like this, which I really don't do. I just go for it. I'll go move forward a little bit, and you'll trickle out that way. I just hang out at the edge. Don't go too far because you're going to fall in, obviously, right? There's my pizza. Let's 
this guy kill, him, kill himself, and then it's it. Not too hard, guys. It just seemed really hard, but it wasn't. Is everybody at full health? Everyone's at full health. Okay, perfect. We have scrolls. I don't have any other uh, weapons. It sucks, but I want to kind of show them off a little bit. But if you play this game before, you know what it is. You, you basically have the shurikens, uh, the, the single shurikens, the triple shurikens, and uh, the boomerangs. Okay, so we are gonna go with, uh, I don't know, Don, I guess. Who knows? Yeah, I'll, I'll show off Don a little bit here. So yeah, there's full pizza there. All right, so here's the thing about Don and Leo. Especially Don. He can basically attack through walls, making this part really, really simple. There you go. Don just makes this game so simple. Okay, so here's an important part of the game I, uh, I want to talk to you guys about. I really don't like the fact that they change these enemies. It really pisses me off. Okay, if this doesn't work, I'm probably, I probably have to go in and out to, to show you guys what I mean. But anyway, I'm just gonna kill these guys just for the hell of it. All right, so you can actually manipulate the. Remember, I told you you guys can manipulate the, the enemy patterns. You can actually manipulate uh, the screens as well, which can work out to your advantage. Okay, so I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Okay. I go up this ladder. If I can be the guy I don't want it, I don't want it. yeah, basically that guy. That's fine. I'll take the hit, not a big deal. Anyways, so now I go to the left here, and look. There's a guy there, it's gonna make it hard for me to go. I can kill him, but let's say you know you're low on health or whatever, right? It's gonna make it hard for you to get up that ladder, right? So because I scrolled all the way to the left and go down. Now when I go back up, it's gonna change how uh, how it's set up. Now He's on my side, and now I can easily hop over him, and I don't have to deal with him. That's what I'm talking about. You can, you, when you go up and down ladders, you can actually manipulate the screen you're going into. Uh, I want to change to Wrath here. Perfect, okay. So this is the Mecha Turtle fight. Now, there are a couple of ways you can uh, handle uh, the first part of it. Just, it it's basically uh, two forms of, uh, of the boss here. Um, there's one that works uh, really well for uh, Leo and Don. I think I, I, I probably uh, devised it myself, but uh, the other one uh, is another one too where you can uh, uh, we can attack the guy uh, using maneuvers and stuff. So I'll show you, uh, I'll show you a short range uh, weapon attack here. I'll use a uh, Raph here. So come off like this. Wait here. Like that. Attack him. Oh, don't let him hit you. That's a no-no. All right. So that was the one pattern, and then you, from there you would go all the way back and just repeat what I just did. Here's another way to do it, though. It's a lot simpler, I think, with uh, with Don or Leo. So what you want to do is you want to do medium jumps like that, okay? And as you're going up, attack down. Simple. And I just use, oh, I use Don here because simple. He's, he's, uh, he's just a really, really uh, powerful guy. Now, here's the thing with uh, with the, the second form there. He's really, really tough, really, really random. If you have scrolls, I had scrolls. I was trying to show you without it. I don't want to you know, spend so much time uh, showing you different strategies on that guy. But if you have scrolls, use the scrolls. Always use the scrolls if you have them, if you can spare them. It would make that fight a whole lot easier. I mean, look, now I got Donatello and I wasted a lot of damage. I lost a lot of health with them, right? So, uh... Also, when you get to this part here, like, if you get, if you get by Mecha Turtle and you're low on health, they give you a full pizza here. You just have to, like, manipulate wait to... to grab it. Just gotta be careful a little bit. There you go, I glitched that guy out. Nice.
See, the enemy pattern has changed. We're gonna fill up Raph here, and we should be good, good to go. All right. All right. So these enemies here are pretty annoying. I mean, with Raph, I could probably hop over him. I can lure him out, hop over him, but with Don, he's an e it's an easier kill because he's stronger. And those are the uh, the things I was talking about, the um, the grappling hooks. Which I don't need to get because I already have three of them. Okay, so here's a good spot right here to show you how this enemy uh, acts here. The Rat King guy isn't as hard as people think he is. I'm sure people probably know that, but all you do is you go to him and you run back and that's it. And all he does is he hops in front of you. And he, that's, that's it. That's all he does and you can easily attack him. Easily. Simple. Let me try that again. That's it. Don't go too far back. Ooh, stars. Uh, whatever, I'll give him to Raph. Alright, so this part here is automatic. They, uh, they automatically shoot out the... The, uh, the grappling hook for you. Okay, so up there is a pizza if you need it. I don't need it, so I'm just gonna go down. Uh, we'll take these guys out. When you have the advantage to take people, the guys out, do it. Might as well. This guy's never gonna hurt me. Look at this. <laughs> Watch out for this thing over here. A lot of stuff for me is memorization because I've been playing this game a lot. Alright. Alright, so just to let you guys know, you are in, uh, I think it's what they call JFK Air Airport, I'm pretty sure. That's what they refer to it as, but. Uh, that's basically a lot of manholes to go through. There is different pathways, and I'm gonna show you guys, uh, you know, which ones to go to. So you see there, it says, you know, number two, right over here, right here, number two. You want to make your way to the end uh, where uh, Splinter says right there, target is number 18. So 18 is obviously the last one. That guy shot a boomerang at me. Simple. Simple. Shouldn't struggle with those guys. Easiest sub boss right there. <laughs> Okay, so look at this. Now you have multiple pathways here. Which way do you go? I'll teach you guys a little trick, okay? Now I can only go this way. Alright, here's a trick, guys. Whenever you see 
magnets or lava, you're not going the wrong way, you're going a harder path. I always feel that there's a pathway that's harder and a pathway that's easier to get to. So just let you know, if whenever you see magnets or lava, lava is an instant kill. See those spikes? Those spikes take off one bar of health, but then you're gonna encounter them too. But uh, the lava is an instant kill and obviously you wanna avoid that, right? So there are two uh, types of pathways, a hard path, easy path. If you see magnets or lava, get the fuck out. That's it, and go back where you came from. So that was the wrong pathway. We came from uh, the right there, so we'll go up here, and there you go. All right, this is the right way, right here. Conveyor, belt, conveyor belts are, uh, I, I would say they're the right way, but not really, because even the, the even the parts uh, with uh, the lava have conveyor belts. So just remember, if you see, if ever you see magnets or lava, you're going the wrong way or the hard way. Raph is really good at this part. Try to trigger these guys out. There we go. Okay, I think not uh, here. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Next one. Okay, two manholes. Which one do you go to? What are those? Magnets. Don't go don't go where magnets are. Okay, so this is the important part, another important part of the game I want to show you guys, okay? Here I'm gonna show you guys the power of the turtles, okay? I, I waited specifically for this moment uh, to show you guys because there's a life bar that will come in handy to see uh, um, how effective uh, the turtle weapons are, okay? So we're gonna start off with Dawn. And you get these Rat King guys to, to test on, okay? So, that Rat King guy has two bars of health, okay? Takes two hits from Dawn. Two hits. Come back inside. We got Raph now. One, two, three. Okay. We're gonna go with, uh, with Mikey. Now, oh, let's uh, let's do this first. One, two, three, four hits. It takes four hits for for Mikey to do what what Donatello can do in two hits. We're gonna go with Mikey again. Now, you're gonna hear a lot of people talk about oh, whenever the turtles get less than half, their weapon weapons become more powerful. That's true but only for Leo and Mike. It does not work for Don, it does not work for Raph. Don and Raph are consistently equal regardless of their power level is consistently equal regardless of how much health they have. For guys like Leo and uh, and Mike, yes, it's true. Their power, their uh, uh, weapon strength will increase as uh, their power is less, their, their health is less than half. So you saw it took four hits to kill him, right? I'm gonna purposely get less than half here. Now watch, one, two hits. He just got to dawn level uh, of power from getting less than, ha than half health. Now we'll do Leo. Two, three, four hits. Four hits for Leo.
three hits. So he equals Raph's uh, power level. We're getting less than half. So theoretically, you could say, theoretically, that Leo is the worst one in the game. Because he needs to be less than half just to equal Raph. When Raph can just do it at full, at full, uh, full life. Yes, he, at, at the beginning, he's uh, the same power level as Michelangelo, but Michelangelo can jump up to Don's level of power by being less than half. But Leo has an advantage. For example, guys like Raph can't attack that guy from here. Mike can't attack him from here. Leo can actually attack this guy from above. He can go through. So like I was saying before, every... Oh, I'll get that. Yeah, why not? Every turtle has their own advantage disadvantage, except for Donatello. He's just pure advantage. Now that we're on the subject here, let's check out uh, weapons. Triple shuriken, two hits. Shuriken, two hits. Weapons are very powerful. And we'll go Mikey. One hit. One hit with a, with a scroll. That's how powerful the thing is. And we're not done yet. Uh, so there's more stuff I want to show you guys, okay? Let's go with Don here. Don can actually attack from behind. You can see... That's, that's incredible. Um, we'll go Leo. Leo can attack from behind. Oh, we'll Mike. Mike can attack from behind. That was a little sloppy, but I'll show you a better way. You can actually do, if you do the overhead swipe. It's much more effective uh, attacking from behind that way. But guess what? Oops. Raph cannot attack from behind. Raph can't do it. So like I said, everyone has their advantage. Why would you want to attack an, a, a, an enemy from behind? Maybe as you're running to get away from it and you, and you attack, maybe. But yeah. Like I said, every turtle has their own advantages and disadvantages, okay? So now you're getting to here. Uh, I believe sewer 10. Oh, that was bad. I just want to show you guys what was there. But it's basically, it gives you uh, an area to get pizza, but I don't think it's worth it. What you want to do is get to area... Sorry, sewer 12, which is this one. But before that, let's go to sewer 13. Oh look, free room. Or so it seems. Again, multiple places, you don't know where to go. Magnets. What I say about magnets? Lava. You don't want this stuff, right? But I'm gonna do it anyway. I'll do it with, uh... Mm. Dawn.
Okay, and insta kill. I did it on purpose, guys. We have to find uh, where the next uh, spot is. So guess what? It's right here. Sewer 13 has a turtle. And just for the record, so you guys know, once you sa once you save a turtle once in a certain area, he will never spawn there again. So if I lose another turtle, he won't be here. I gotta wait till the next level to find them. So like I said, that was magnets and lava. You don't want to go that way, but I did I did make the sacrifice to try to get more uh, uh, more scrolls there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to farm some pizza here. So this is the right area right here, 12. Alright, we got a full dawn now. Oops. I think Leo's good at this, isn't he? There we go. I'll go Raph here, maybe. I should kill this guy first. Now, even though, like, you know, this game is possible to beat with one turtle, no power-ups, I think the way you should be playing this game is utilizing all four turtles to uh, the best you can. Uh, that was a hard jump to make. Attacking from behind comes in handy. Alright, so I'm gonna try to farm some pizza here for the guys. Let's see if we can do it. See, what sucks about the, the stars and shit, they won't go through walls, but the boomerangs will. And guess what else will go through walls? Yep. You guessed it. That's why it's so powerful. Nice. Alright, let's go back to, uh, to Raph here. Probably give this to Raph, not gonna lie. So yeah, I need the extra health. Okay. Just to get down here again so I can give it to Leo. Okay. Alright, give this one to Leo. There we go. Uh, do I should I give this one to Raph? Uh, actually, I don't think so, because I think I'm getting a full pizza coming up anyway. So, yeah. Two pathways here. Lava. And that was actually the end of uh, where I died, actually, before. So, obviously, lava, you're in the wrong way. Don't go this way. This is the right way right here. Okay, so this part here, I actually just run right through. Even though there's spikes here. And the reason why is because there's a pizza right there. There we go. Let's see if I can take this guy out with. Uh... There we go. Let's go to Raph, get him his pizza. Okay, 
kill this guy. I use Wrath a lot in this game. He's a, honestly, he's actually really good to use. Watch out for this thing. Okay, so obviously this has lava and you're going to think to yourself, oh, well, you're going the wrong way. There is one part uh, on this pathway that uh, will have lava and you can't, uh, even the other way too. Like if, if you have to go through the hard path, you have to go through this way uh, anyway. 15 is the right way, to, is the right sewer to go to and it will have lava and it's not that, honestly, it's not that hard to get through. Just a baby jump and you get through, done. And that's it. So now you're left with another pathway here. We're getting close to the end here. 16. This is just, I don't know if you saw it there, for a pizza. There's that icon right there at the bottom uh, left. That's uh, invincibility. It's, like a, it's, a, it's similar to like a, a Mario invincibility star. And to the bottom right is a half a pizza. It's not worth it, guys. Honestly, because you're, you're getting close to the end. And to be honest, this is like an easy boss. All right, so. Take out these things. All right. I gotta have to attack them from behind. That was so sick. This is where turtles come in, come in handy, man. Different turtles. Dawn's just honestly the best at everything. The only, the only thing wrong with Dawn is that, like, there's some, like, enemies that are really low to the ground that he can't attack because of the ring heat. You have to, like, go like this, which is, like, an extra motion to do. And it's a little slower, but other than that, though, it's fine. Okay, so, uh, I will go Leo here in case I die. Because, <laughs> uh, I want to keep Mike because he has the scrolls. And Raph is just really good. Leo is kind of useless, I guess. I don't want to say that. I, I think I like Leo second after uh, after Raph is my favorite turtles. So this is uh, the famous part here where uh, the, w the walls close in. It's coming up in the next screen as I as I drop lower. The cool thing is you can go any way you want. You can go like this way to get there, whatever, or. You can go this way here. I prefer going this way. I don't know why. It's just like that's the way I've always done it. Uh, they give you this. I think they give you this little section here so you can practice it. And you can see like. Uh, you know, that's how it's going to be. And you can practice it. So, you know, you have so much time to do it. Uh, I have died here many times. Uh, it's just, you know. Uh, you, you basically got need you need a lot of confidence here and just just do it you know like don't overthink things uh, and just uh, play like you would play if, if you're gonna die here it's because your nerves get the better of you and we'll see how my nerves are right now so far so good yeah if you want you can go the other way if you really want those stars but I don't need them that little part at the end I always just jump off hard and, and uh, like or, or walk off hard and just cut back that's how I get by that part Okay guys, this is the easiest boss in history. One of the easiest actually. Really easy, especially with Dawn. You get in the middle here, you can't get hit. You wait for that thing to appear. Right there. All right, I'll show you guys another trick right here. Watch this. Wait for the thing to appear, press pause. Now when you unpause, it's gonna stay open. Or the thing is gonna be, uh, you'll be able to hit it. I mean, it's not really a that more you know that impressive of a trick, but you know, it's not even that necessary, right? But if you guys are doing a speed run, it comes in handy because you can attack them and kill them faster. That's it. All right, guys, we made it to area five now. That's uh, we're taking a long time here, but again, you guys have to understand. I'm, I'm trying to explain stuff to you guys too, right? So hopefully, hopefully, this thing can be uh, easier for you guys. If you guys know more about the game, right? Okay, so what should we talk about first? Uh, this is the part that has the three the three sewer manholes. Um, actually, let's go into the buildings first. Do this, do the buildings first. So this is the first. There's two buildings in this. You can see here. There's two buildings, uh, which is top left and in the middle, and then you have uh, the three manholes, which is top uh, top right, bottom right, and bottom left. 
So let's go into the first building here. We'll call this one building number one. Uh, I always get Raph out here. Uh, I know what I gotta do here. I have to kill Don. <laughs> so there's pizza if you need it. This is a spot to, to, to go where you want pizza, okay? Trust me. Come here, get the half of pizza, in and out, and that's how you farm the pizza in this level. It's actually not that hard. But what I want to do is... I want to come out. I want to get caught by these uh, these guys here. Perfect. Alright, Donatello is dead. Sucks I have to keep sacrificing him. So, go back to the same building we just came to. Alright. So, when I see these birds coming, I always I, I cut back right away and then I move forward. Like that. That's how I usually get by them. Now with Raph, come here. Don't stand in front of the ladder because it's going to make you go up. Go into an open area and just swipe up that way. And this is how you get the pizza. Don't go too high, because then you're gonna you're gonna trigger the next screen, and then when you go back down, the enemies are gonna respawn. You want to be right at this level. Get the pizza and go and go down. All right, go down here. I don't want to take that hit, but whatever. I can just go back and get pizza if I need. And look, done. Skip the pizza for now. Now I'm gonna show you guys where. Uh, if you get here and you need scrolls, a lot of people have a hard time. Whoa, getting uh, scrolls uh, on this level. I'll show you guys how to get them. It's not that hard. Okay, so you go into this building. In one hit, Raph can kill these guys. If you don't have uh, Raph or or, or Don, uh, you can do it with uh, with Mikey or. Uh, Leo if they're under half or otherwise just use a thing um, Use a sub weapons if you can Here all I do is walk walk straight walk straight walk straight uh, the bottom over here is uh, gonna be boomerangs there Oh, I fucked up there. It's fine I'll probably get boomerangs in the way out maybe Okay, so this is how you get these uh, scrolls. The scrolls gonna be above me, okay? Come here, let's kill this guy. All right, that's how you do it. You wanna take basically, this is the ladder you wanna take up, okay? But not yet, you wanna scroll the screen all the way to the right first, like that, until you can't go anymore, okay? Then, you wanna go back to the second one, right here, and then you go to the third one. I know it sounds fishy, but listen, the reason why I don't want you to go from here to here is because when you go all the way up you're gonna stand on top of the ladder here, let me just show you guys here what's gonna happen okay when you go all the way up to a ladder you stand on top of it but after that you can't do anything you, you, you can't you can jump but then you'll fall back down you really can't all you can do here is move left and right okay but if you try to move right when you're standing left you're gonna grab the ladder that's gonna be a problem I want you to go up that ladder and I want you facing right that's what I want you guys to do. That's the best way I found to do this, okay? So go all the way, scroll the screen over, because I want, I want the screen to show all the way to the right. Go back to the second one, and then to the third one. Now go up, all the way to the top, and just stay here. When they come to you, attack, attack, attack. Look, now you now you can freely go up there and grab that, that uh, scroll, done. Simple. Now, how do we get out of here? <laughs> Good question. Get back on the ladder. I went too far. That's fine. Uh, 
I'll show you guys how to get the boomerangs. I'll probably give them to, uh, to thing. I'll give them to Don. Okay. Unlike everything else that you farm in this game, we have to go in and out of doors. Here, all you gotta do is leave the screen and you're good. And you can, like, max out to 100 here. That's it. Now we'll get Raph back out again. Now there is a pizza here. Let me see if I can try to get it. So if if I was able after grabbing that scroll to grab onto the ladder again, I'd make my way over here. There is a pizza here, it's kinda hard to get to. If you can't get to it, don't worry about it, don't like, stress over it. There's like these bugs here, you have to, or birds you have to manipulate here. Ah, I think we got it. He'll come to me. Oh! That bird came out of nowhere. Son of a bitch. That's fine. I wouldn't, so I wouldn't recommend getting pizza in this, uh, in this building anyway. All you want this building for is scrolls, which I showed you how to get. Just go in and I'll repeat what I did, what I did there. If you want uh, to replenish your pizza, or your health, sorry, you go through here. And just do the same thing you always do. That's it. Simple. Don't go too high. That's perfect. That's like the easiest pizza to get in this level, for such a hard level. Done. <coughs> Excuse me guys. Alright. So, now let's talk about the sewers. So, like I said, you have top right, bottom right, bottom left. Uh, I'll tell you guys, uh, from what I found out uh, statistically online, people were saying that, uh, okay, so top right is the easiest path to get to the Technodrome. It's got a 25% chance of being there. Uh, bottom right is uh, probably uh, the medium path to get there. Uh, that's also 25% chance of being there. And bottom left is uh, the hardest path and I guess it'd be, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, uh, accurate to be 50% uh, chance of being there because it is the hardest path, right? So, uh, I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, it, for me, it could be anywhere. Uh, I'll tell you guys one thing, one real uh, tip that I know is 100% for a, a fact. If you get a game over and you continue, the Tekken Drone will always be, always, 100% of the time be bottom left. Always. But if you want to try to do it without getting a continue, uh, for me, I always go from the easiest to the hardest. Uh, the top right is the easiest uh, to get to the Technodrome, but if it's not there, it's kind of like the hardest to get out. Not the hardest, but like, it's, a, it's, a t it's tougher to get out. Um, I, don't, I don't think uh, the bottom right, the medium one, I don't think that's uh, uh, that hard to get out uh, as it were to get in. So, we'll see. So we're going to start with top right, we're going to start from the right side. Top right, bottom right, and bottom left. See if we, how we can find this Technodrome. And obviously, the bottom left being the hardest path, you want to basically make that the last one because you don't want to come out from there, right? <laughs> if you're going there, it means it has to be there, so... so we'll save that one for last. Hey, it's so simple. It's like right here. <laughs> here you go. Now, this is what I want to show you guys. Coming down here. You saw how that you saw how the screen looked like, right? See that guy stuck on on the screen now, that enemy. Do you remember what I, what I told you guys? Whenever you go down up and down ladders, you can manipulate the screen. So watch, look look what I'm gonna do here. 
gonna go all the way to the right. Now I'm gonna come down. I just wait right there. I know you think like, oh, look, well, you didn't do nothing. Ah, well, look, I scrolled the screen over to the right a little bit. That means when that guy rolls to the to the left, he's gonna he's gonna be off screen. Watch. I don't have to deal with them. Gone. There you go. One less enemy to deal with. Use those to your advantages, guys. So we'll see if the Tekken drone is here. I don't know. Uh, what do I, if the Tekken drone is here, what do I want to do? Uh, obviously, guys, if you have the scrolls, anything is easy in this game. It's so simple. Like you just play defense and just uh, spam scrolls. I'll show you guys what to do if you don't have the scrolls. I guess if this isn't Tekken drone. It's not. Okay, so we gotta make our way out. No problem. Cool. I don't think those bubbles uh, hurt you when they explode, eh? Man, these things are stuck, it looks like. Alright, so, porcupines. This is where Dawn comes in handy. There you go. Uh, do I want to get that? Uh, why not? I missed it. It's fine, I don't need him. More porcupines. There is a half pizza in here, so it's not that bad. It, it is like a little harder to get out of this uh, area, but they do give you a half pizza at the end. My god, just come here and die already. There we go. And the pizza is actually to the right over here. But I don't need it, so I'll screw it. Okay, uh, I'll use Raph to get out of here. Now, if you do take a hit, then you want to replenish, like, you like, hey, just go, to, go to the first building, it's such an easy pizza to get to. And don't worry if you take a hit on those birds, because, like I said, you're getting a half pizza here. I mean, at most, you're going in and out twice to, to replenish your pizza. Or replenish your health, sorry. Okay. So we're gonna try bottom right now. I always just make a run for it here. I don't think there's any porcupine guys here. Actually, no, there's one at the end. Forgot, yeah. Let this guy fall down. Or go off screen, maybe. There we go. Alright, so there's one those, another one of those parts where you can manipulate the screen, okay? And there's a porcupine guy right there. Alright, I always go to the right and then go down. Sometimes he will be a bitch and just follow you and stay where you are. But I want to get that that one guy shooting off uh, that one alien guy off screen, which he's not doing. Just reset the screen if that happens. You can't do this in the third one as much because uh, the third sewer, uh, there's gonna be enemies here. You're not gonna have like a, uh, what's it called? Um, a space where you can uh, go back up. Cause if you go back up, you're gonna spawn the enemy and then he's gonna kill you or hurt you. See, when that porcupine guy does that, 
he's basically he's he's owning in on you. He goes, oh yeah, I got rid of that guy, but now I'm gonna I'm gonna get hurt by uh by this porcupine guy. So I'm gonna go back in and out. I'm gonna try to make a run for it. I think. No, oh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. And now we got the technical drone. <laughs> okay, so this is what we want to do. Uh, like I said, if you have the scrolls, use the scrolls. If not, um, uh, try to do what I. Well, if you want to do this without scrolls, here's what you do: you get the turtle, and you go to the bot. You go to the right of the screen, and you duck to get under the laser, like that. Otherwise, just get scrolls and spam that thing. When you can, hop up and attack these things. I didn't want to attack uh, that foot soldier, but Don's weapon is just so... By the way, this is what I want to show you about Mike. Mike cannot hit those things. That makes Mike, a Mike only run really difficult. So, so I just get Don and kill this thing. All right. Now that I fucked up the pattern with the foot soldiers, I'm gonna just take this out. That door right there. There you go. Now the foot soldiers won't come back. There we go. So what you want to do here is attack the eye. You can't just do a baby jump with Leo. I mean, uh, with Don. Uh, Mike can actually do it uh, too, even though he's got the, the, the worst the overhead swipe. All you, all you need is a medium sized jump. And boom, you can hit him. It's not bad. Now, what I was saying before if you have scrolls, you see the part where like, that's got laser? Look, that's what you would do. I think it's what, like maybe three hits, four hits? Four hits. You take that out. Same thing on the other side. One. Two, three, four. That's all you you have to do. If you were to try and do this uh, with, with, with the scrolls. Okay, what do I do for the? Uh, I guess I have to lose Raph. Wow, that sucks. Ah, well, we'll see what we can do. Okay. Oh, Raph got fucked up hard. All right, uh, I'm trying to plan my next uh, thing I want to talk about here. Uh, yeah, okay, well, we'll, use, we'll use Dawn here. So now we're inside the Technodrome. Now, I hate when that happens. Fucking, uh, you run off the Technodrome, you, you, they, give you, they make you take damage. It's just bullshit. Anyways. <laughs> so. Uh, this next part here. What you want to do when you get into the Technodrome is head right, right away. And there's a reason why. If you go left, I'll show you guys. Alright. You saw it. That was a foot soldier. I'm going to pick Raph here because I'm probably going to die with Raph. You want to head right to keep the foot soldiers on screen. If you go left to attack that foot soldier, you're going to spawn a spaceship guy. These guys are the most annoying guys in the game. So watch this. Okay, yeah, okay, I killed him. Oh, you know what? We got lucky here, guys. We got lucky here. That's good, actually. That's surprising. I'm surprising that the spaceship guys didn't show up. There they are. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So let's get killed. All right. I probably didn't go too far left, but yes, like you saw how I just turned from foot soldiers to spaceship guys, right? This is how you do it. Get Dawn out. There you go. No spaceship guys. 
Let's see if we can if we can find uh, where Raph is and rescue him. Okay, now we're gonna it's time to manipulate some flying enemies. Like I've been showing you guys the entire game. Okay, I know I'm gonna make my way to the right here and follow the flying robots. Once I get to that yellow and black uh, uh, stripe thing at the bottom, I'm gonna jump up and over the flying robots. What's that, what that's gonna do is that there's gonna be a, a flying uh, spaceman off screen, and I'm gonna manipulate him to go upwards instead of straight across. So just pay attention. There you go. And I just avoided through all oh, two of them at least. Sometimes there's a, there's a third one there. I don't know how he gets there, but most of the time it should be only one guy. So these enemies here, these are annoying. He's flying robots because Don's the only one that could take him out, or or Mikey with uh, with Half Life can take him out as well. Wow. Don's getting fucked up. I'm going way too fast. I think that's a problem. Okay. We're gonna give this to Leo because we want Leo to die. <laughs> Not really. Uh oh. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys now the part where you get the last and final turtle if you want to get the, you know, the turtle because let's say we want Raph, right? I'll show you guys where to get him. I'm saying that because if you want, because it's sometimes it's not worth it. Let's kill this guy first, actually. That's actually not bad, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the three hits, but that's, again, that's because I know, you know, what's coming up and stuff, right? But that's basically three hits, and then you come here and... Look, it's Raph. Yeah, a little too Raph. Eh? eh? Okay, whatever, all right. So, this taking this way also is a shortcut, believe it or not. I don't believe it, but it is. So you come here, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Doesn't matter, we're gonna, we're gonna lose Leo right now anyway. Okay. Go to the left here, head to this door. Whoa, spaceship guy, that usually doesn't happen. Now I know this part looks familiar. People will play this game and beat this game before, but it's not. Guess where you are? You're right here, right under this pizza, which you would love to have, wouldn't you? <laughs> so, what I just showed you guys, there's two, just like um, JFK Airport, there are two pathways to get where you gotta go. Uh, there's an easy pathway and a hard pathway. What I did was the pathway to get the extra turtle. It's a shortcut, but it's also a harder pathway because you're taking a lot of damage and I have to, uh, if you saw, I, 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 there was a spaceship guy there, I wasn't even ready for him. So, I'm gonna lose Leo on purpose and try to get through this uh, the right way. Not the right way, but like uh, the more safe way, I guess. Okay, so you see what's happening here? The 
flying robot turn anymore. You get the the foot soldier uh, enemy set, and I think that's what happens. Sometimes, uh, like your, your first time at Technodrome, they'll you know they'll throw the the harder stuff at you, but uh, if you die, I think that they they, they uh, you know they make it a little easier for you just to get through. It's kind of like I guess uh, similar to like a white Tanuki suit, I guess. Because now I'm gonna deal with uh, foot soldiers or these guys. In any event, it's an easier move set, or easier, sorry, uh, enemy set. It's not the spaceship, guys. And probably here's gonna be different as well. Yeah, there you go. So these guys, Roth can take him on one hit, one hit. Not this guy, though. Fucker. No worries, no worries. Mikey, yeah. Uh, Mikey's still good. Uh, we'll go with Raph. Oh! The enemy, look at the enemy pattern just changed, look at that. That was a close one. Okay, we gotta keep Don here now. Okay, I lost my boomerangs. See, that's uh, something that people need to understand about this game too. Especially when you have like 65 scrolls of Mike. Whenever you kill an enemy, you want to go slow. Because if you go fast, you're going to accidentally run into something like that. It's not a big deal. I don't need uh, the boomerangs. Would have come in handy though. Maybe at some parts. Alright, so we got Dawn at full health. Okay, so if I fight this guy, if they go out, come like over here. I think I went too far. Uh, that platform on the rightmost, like, so this platform above right here, you see like on the right side there, there's like a gap and then a little bit of a piece there. You want to try to keep that on screen because I think uh, at that point, that uh, will stop triggering uh, the kangaroo guy from coming. Yeah, you see, if I if I went too far left, he would have he would have came out again. All right. So believe it or not, so well, some people don't realize that that pizza that I just grabbed at the bottom. Um, some people think that you can't. Uh, uh, farm pizza and tech You actually can. If you go through this door and come back out. Oh, look, I got another easy, easy move set. Nice. You actually can go back and get that pizza. Believe it or not. Strategize here. Perfect. <laughs> it's a long way, but if you really need the pizza, yes, you can grab it. Oh, look, the enemy set just changed again. Mike, there will be more pizza as we keep going, so we'll give that to, to Mikey if we need to. Alright, so back with this shit again. Alright. 
man. It's not here anymore. Okay, so now we can move on. Uh, when you go through here, uh, most of the time it's gonna be the um, the Rat King guy. Sometimes on the odd occasion it could be the Flying Spaceman. Uh, what I like to do though is wait a little bit as you enter the door because it won't let you jump right away and then make the jump till you jump over the Rat King guy. If it's a spaceship guy, I guess go underneath him. Alright, we got lucky. Rat King guy. Perfect. Exactly as I planned. Okay. Uh, here is going to be... Let's get Raffo. Uh, one of the Rat King guys, you can glitch him. Perfect. Oh. Fuck sakes. Okay. Uh, oops. Uh, getting over here now. Uh, this will give you more scrolls, so let's use scrolls to get scrolls, shall we? Two hits will be enough, yeah. Perfect. And this part here will get you scrolls. 79 scrolls, not bad. Alright, let's get Raph out. Let's go down. Should be uh oh, this guy's not bad. I thought it was a kangaroo guy. Enemy sets always just change randomly here. Yeah, make your way to the left here. I just want to kill these guys just uh, to not have them there. Alright, same thing here, this is where you get the last pizza. I mean, you can also use Don there too if you needed to. So we'll give this one to Mike. Mike has the scrolls. Alright, we're getting close to the end here, guys. Alright. Oh, this is not actually nice. Okay, so uh, sometimes you don't get this enemy pattern, but uh, here we did, so that's a good thing. So we're gonna follow this guy. The Rat King guy is gonna come out now, or not. All right, now we can kill him. Perfect, that's actually good. Sometimes you get uh, the kangaroo guy, and if that happens, I usually just uh, jump into this little alcove here and just try to jump over him. Uh, Otherwise, yeah, I take like a couple of hits, but it's not a big deal. Uh, here we got another easy move set. This is a raft can probably do this one. This is basically these guys. Sometimes you get the space the spaceman guys, and uh, they're hard too. But you have to like basically uh, have a strategy of uh, going underneath them, like that, basically. Okay, got this guy off screen. Nice. Scrolls. Alright, this is what I want to show you guys. That right there is the invincibility thing. This will get you into uh, uh, the final, we'll call it the, the hallway of doom, okay? Which is, which is basically what it is. Uh, this will get to, to get it to you easily. Uh, if you don't want to use it because you're doing a no power ups run, I'll show you guys uh, how to do it. Uh, I guess I'll use Raph. Yeah, just drop down here. And kangaroo guy, hop over him, and just keep going. That's if you want to do it without it. So when you go in here, oh no, look, they're coming at you. Go back out. Just be safe. <laughs> take a breather. Take a breather. So uh, these guys here, they're gonna come at you. Obviously, uh, the only guy that can take them out is Don. Uh, what you want to do is. Uh, or you can use a sub weapon, right? But Don can take them out, and or you can just hop over them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hop over them, like so. Perfect. Okay, so this is the hallway of doom. There is no turning back now. We have decent health, but don't no, don't kid yourself. I mean, any hit you get from um, from these guys are gonna are really gonna fuck you apart. So uh, this is what we're gonna do. Um, 
Uh, I'll show you guys uh, the, uh, the pattern. It's basically going to be flying spacemen and then uh, flying robots. Flying spacemen, flying robots. So that's always a pattern. You want to walk, duck under the flying spacemen, wait till it's clear, keep going, and attack the robot. Um, obviously, when I did my uh, my Red Swayze challenge, I did it uh, with a different strategy. Uh, I'm not going to do that here. I'm just basically trying to get you guys through the game. I'm probably going to use uh, Mikey with... Um, uh, with the scrolls to get by, uh, or I could use Don, doesn't matter. But I'll probably be switching a lot between turtles now. Alright, here we go. There it is, it's one. Off screen. Let's get Mikey out. Attack. Done. I have a feeling that ducking under isn't gonna cut it right now because I have a feeling that, uh, they are uh, changing the pattern on me. I don't know. Sometimes you can duck under, sometimes you can't. But I get the feeling that you, like I won't be able to do it here. So I'm gonna get a Mikey out just in case with scrolls and hope for the best here. Oh, got under. Perfect. That was uh, unexpected. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Sometimes those guys will be really low where even if you duck they'll hit you. Here I know you can't clear it at all. So what I'm going to do here is, I, just like I did in my uh, Red Swayze challenge video, I'm going to try to manipulate these guys. So like I said, manipulate the flying enemies, okay? So I'm going to jump hard and go to the right a tad and, and pull back. It may or may not work. And if it doesn't work, I got to get probably Dawn out maybe and start killing, killing these guys. Either that or I book it. I don't want to book it though. Like that. Just trick it out. Oh, that's one. There we go. Fuck. That's a lot of hits, man. Fuck. I could have used scrolls too. Scrolls would have killed him. And be careful here. Don't run into anything. It's very important not to run into anything. Let's go back to this. Okay. I forgot where they come out from. Fuck. Don. I'm booking it. I'm booking it. Okay, when in doubt, book it. If you fuck up the pattern, just fucking book it, okay? Uh, last guy to trick out? Okay, perfect, okay. All right, so now this, this is gonna be the pattern for the rest of the game. Don's not that bad, actually. We got we got Raf, we got Mike. Um, okay. Careful what you do here with the scrolls. You don't want to run into something. Not that, I mean, you can still do without it. But, uh, so here's a pattern. Same as before. Flying spaceman, uh, flying robot. Flying spaceman, flying robot, okay? The flying spaceman here is not going to be true at all. Because as you go to him, just duck. And he, and he walks backwards. Your problem is going to be the flying robot. Now, if you have projectiles, use them. Not a problem. What I was doing before, uh, my challenge was basically, I uh, was using a, a strategy uh, of... Hitting him twice. I'll try to do one here. Ah, something like that. I'll try it one more time. Something like that, basically. Okay. But that's not important. As long as you have the scrolls, you should be fine. But don't move too fast. Last thing you need is to run into a projectile weapon that you don't want. There's like eight of these. That's it. That's how simple it is. You don't have to attack the spaceman, guys. Careful here. All right, guys. I just want to step in here and uh, further elaborate on the uh, final section of the hallway of doom here. So if you happen to get here. Uh, like I have all four turtles, uh, no sub weapons at all, no scrolls. 
it's still possible to get through. Uh, I'm gonna try explaining it with uh, for each turtle how they get through here. Um, now the pattern is gonna be uh, flying spaceman and flying robot, alternating flying spaceman, flying robot, flying spaceman, flying robot. Um, there's gonna be eight of them each. The flying spaceman actually shouldn't be an issue for you because watch, you can see right here. You just go walk forward, you can shoot the laser. All you do is duck and he backs away. The only issue it's gonna be is the flying robot. Now, Raph is gonna have the hardest time to get through with this. Um, the strategy that you should, you should be using is attacking once, backing off, like attacking to the point where you're barely hitting him, you're grazing him, and then backing off, and then turning back around and, and attacking him. That's the only way to get through with Raph. Uh, I'll try to do it here. In case I fail, just go back and watch my Red Swayze video because I did it in there a couple of times. So this is how you would do it with Raph. Like that. So that's how you do with Raph. Now with Leo, you'd have to be uh, below ha um, half health in order to get through. And he can one shot these guys. There you go. Same thing with Mike. Uh, Mike has to be uh, below um, half health. And he can one shot them. And Donnie, you know, he's at half health here, but he doesn't really have to be. Even at full health, he can take them out. And that should be it. There you go. That's it. That's how you you would get through that section with all four turtles uh, without uh, any sub weapons. And I really hope this helps elaborate on that part because I don't think I did a good job explaining it the first time. So there you go. I've told this story before where I got to this part. It was my first time ever trying to beat the game and I had the scrolls and I I only had one turret at scrolls and I walked into a, a, a projectile weapon right here. So that was really uh, heartbreaking. Alright, this is the final sub boss before the, uh, the shredder. Um, there is uh, a spot here where you can stand and get an easy kill. Uh, you can also do it with Donnie too, but uh, Donnie is low on health. I don't want to chance it with him. We'll do it with Mikey because he has his scrolls too. Uh, you basically where that warning sign is to the far left, you want to get to uh, the vent that's right before it, stand in the middle there, and you can see that there's like a line right at the bottom of, uh, of the vent, or, uh, where the, the platform is on the ground. You want to line up, you want to get your feet right in the middle of that line. You stand there and duck, and you, 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 that's your safe spot, basically. So that's what I'm going to try to do right now. Right there, perfect. Duck, and now you got it. That's it. Now guys, guess what? That's a long video, it's almost two hours. <laughs> guys, uh, this is a door to the Shredder, final boss of the game. Guys, I'm telling you, he is the easiest boss, easiest final boss in any video game. I don't know, if there's if there's one that's, that's easier, you let me know. But if you stand in the right spot, he will never ever hurt you, okay? So here we go. Stand right here. That's it. Just stand there. I'm putting my controller on the floor. I'm not doing anything. I turned it to Raph Ryle for some reason. I don't know why. He's never going to hurt you. Ever. Ever. Guys, I'm not lying. Every time I play this game, every time I played Ninja Turtles on the NES, I've never died against the Shredder. Not that I knew it the first time. Obviously, the first time I played him, I, did, I tried a different strategy. But when I found this out, I'm thinking, wow. Guys, easiest boss. You honestly, listen, I'm not trying to insult anyone, but you have to be a white belt if you ever die against the Shredder. That's how easy this guy is. That's it. And now, all you do from here is don't move. If you jump or anything, he'll attack you and then you're dead, okay? Now, attack him. That's it. Look, one finger on the attack button. That's it. That's it. Look, look, look. He has a lot of health, I'm not gonna lie. Here, let's uh... Get some scroll though. Make, make an easier kill here. Yeah, scrolls do a lot of damage, there you go. That's it guys, that's the tutorial for TMNT on the NES. Uh, I've played this game a shit ton like I said, and uh, I've gotten really good at it, and... You know, I really hope that uh... You know, all these tips that I do, I really hope it helps you out because 
this game, I'm not gonna lie, like, playing as a kid really, uh, it turned me off on the Nintendo. I felt like it's too hard of a system for me to play because I could never get far in this game. And that's what, that's what this game did to me. And I, you know, I wish I knew all this stuff, to, you know, like all these tricks and stuff to beat it, but I didn't give it a chance. I ended up, I think I ended up trading uh, the, the game away because I didn't like it. I love Ninja Turtles, I didn't like this game. I felt it was too hard and I couldn't do it. But I don't want people to go through that, right? I want people to actually beat this game. And I really hope that all these tips that I gave you guys, I really hope that they work because, you know, I really, I'm, I'm rooting for you guys. I want you guys to, to beat this game if you have any trouble. Or if you want to do any challenges, I want you guys to beat them, right? So guys, that's it guys. Uh, we're getting close to uh, two hours here. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Joe with Stampede Gaming. We'll see you guys later.